Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about the pretty neat functionality of fabric. So you may be in a situation when you have to run a specific command or script not just against one host but you have multiple hosts and uh, in order to do that uh, I have or demonstrate that what I did was to spin up another machine it's it's also a CentOS machine so basically we are on the same play here and we have the same username same password for authentication and so on but I would like to demonstrate to you this part so what we need to do here is to import from the fabric the serial group and basically we can name our group as follows. So we need to specify the serial group the following arguments. So we list our hosts. So these are the standard arguments. So send OS A and send OS B and the user which is Ansible and the connect keyword arguments which is password which is the Ansible and if everything goes well we should get back our prompt and that means that the connections are let's say initialized and what we can do now is to run our functions or commands against them so let's say we would like to get the free space from each of the hosts in the specified group and this is uh, basically the way you can go about that so if we wait for the prompt to return what we should see is the following output now not now but now not now I don't know why it's so slow but basically <laughs> it is doing its job so you can see from the file system we have this information and what we can do is to also capture the result and once we capture the result uh, we can say that we hide the output from the console and uh, <coughs> I'm, I would like to show you how you can work with that. So result is basically uh, if you check the type it's a group result and uh, we can refer to these basically different ways. So if you check with the dir these ones so we can refer to these as items or keys so result dot keys and result dot items so yeah and that's basically it so what we can do now is to run our specific commands or functions oh let's demonstrate it uh, with with the function so def free space g and return g dot run df dash h and free space groups how did we call it group and uh, this is going to achieve the same results as we have seen so we could simply say that we would like to hide the output from this command or function and then later process it or we just want to see what the output was and that was all I wanted to show you in this video see you in the next one